What's up, Flight Right Nation? Flight Bright Nation. Hey, what's going on, guys? If you haven't been following along, watch the last video. If you haven't been following along, welcome to Dubai. We're in a we're in a very, very secret part of Dubai, I guess, because this isn't normal. Rock, rock crawling, off roading, like we're doing right now, is not normal for the residents and people of Dubai. It's not secret. It's just new. So everyone's seen the videos out here of like all the crazy sand dunes and like the thousand know, the, horsepower Nissan patrols yeah, and, and, and the sand, sand rails. rails and stuff like that side by side but what you generally don't see is rock crawling here in Dubai and that's because in the last like three to five five years is when it's really become a thing and I say it's become a thing the jeeps you see behind me are kind of the bulk of the off-roading enthusiasts here as far as rock crawling goes there's very few of them yeah and they all have coilovers most every single one has a v8 swap has a helmy a hemi a helmy a, <laughs> a, a hemi a hellcat i don't think there's any demons but either way like it's all they're all relatively nicely built and um they do sand duning and they do yep. desert running but they also from seeing videos in the united states they decided yep. to hey there's some mountains in the background let's go yeah. let's go rock crawling we have mountains we can go rock crawling and they've kind of gotten really interested in it from watching a lot of rock crawling YouTube channels in America and in like Australia. So like us, Trail Recon, stuff like that. Seeing our videos, they've really been inspired to come and create their own rock crawling trails. And again, if you didn't watch the last video, go back, yeah, watch it. Yeah, a lot it. of fun on the first day. That was that our was... first day here, like got here and they're like, come on, let's go. Like we haven't even Dude, seen Dubai Dubai we, yet. I say we hadn't even been here for 24 hours. They took us rock crawling <sighs> and it was supposed to be a mild trail. It got rowdy. Today is supposed to be a difficult trail, so we are fully expecting it to be and everybody as entertaining their tires. as possible. Well, I shouldn't say that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. The terrain here is, it's very, honestly, if you were to drop us off here by a helicopter and be like, hey, where are you? We'd probably say Arizona, because it's very Arizona-esque. Yeah. But the yeah. terrain here is very unforgiving. It's a lot of loose shale, very sharp rocks. Uh, and tires are so far not very happy with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and they're going in through, basically we're in wadis. They're just rivers, ravines, creeks that yep. are in the mountain. Kind of what we would do for King yep. of the Hammers. Like all those crazy trails. Yep. I haven't seen anything that crazy yet, but it's, um, like she said, it's very sharp. Yep. So They've essentially trailblazed their own trails out here. And today, Which again, is legal here. It's only day two of our days in Dubai. And we're going to go do an extreme trail. And we're going to take you guys along for the ride. So if you haven't been following along and you missed the last video, go watch it right now. But you remember the uh, yellow Jeep that broke his CV? Oh! You do realize that this is going to be the most uncomfortable ride. <laughs> that is not going to be comfortable at all. It's going to be comfortable over 120 km. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, if you go fast, the bumps are less. <laughs> That is some super deep water and what's really cool about this rig is if you look at the door so it actually was a defender so it has about I think three feet or so of like actual defender chassis and then like the actual cab and then it's a tube chassis built around that so it is quite a bit heavier than like a buggy say my buggy but yeah. it is very capable compared to a lot of the Jeeps. There's not always this much water or even water at all on some of these trails usually, but last week they had a ton of rain. So they got a lot of rain 
last week and so there's a lot of water on the trails a lot more than normal for them and it's made some of the obstacles like well this is probably the hardest obstacle we've done since yesterday and today but uh, obviously it's making the rocks really slick They're forged, but it's not. That's not. We had the very first time we put this on our tree. We fucking snapped it the very first trail. These are shit, man. I'm sorry. Maybe we can. Maybe we can thread. Oh no, there's no thread. Oh, it no, broke it off. Yeah. Oh, oh. You have it at the shop. Yeah. You gotta have it in the jeep. Yeah, they hand these out in America. Everybody has spares because this. They break. They have. This happens yeah. all the time. So the whole point of an aluminum bar is that if you hit a rock or something, the aluminum bends and comes give. back. It has give. But when the ends are that brittle and the aluminum bends and it snaps the tie rod end, there's no, what's the point? So it's terrible. So earlier when everybody was going through that little water S turn, yeah. Adam uh, went over a huge rock that came out of the tire. And as it came up, it hit the brake line, the hard brake line right here. And I think it spun it loose a little bit. Hopefully just loose. We can just Hopefully tighten it. Loose. Hopefully it's loose. Hopefully like strip it or break it or do anything. I have a yeah. small two box and then we'll see what, uh, what Joey's got. What size? That's 13 or 14, I don't know. Uh, 14 or 15. No, because it has to be on the sides, right? Yeah, no, no. Right here. How's that? Yeah, turn on press now. Yeah, I've only a scratch on it. Yeah, great. Looks good. Can you see water? Except for uh, Assad's Jeep. That did not end well, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, so what we're going to have to do is abandon the Jeep, leave it here. Uh, another rig is staying behind though, and they're going to go out because they have spare tie rod ends back at the shop at Extreme 4x4. They'll have to just go run a spare, then come back and fix it. And in the meantime, the rest of us are going to continue on as if nothing ever happened. <laughs>
one you The one I didn't film. <laughs> Luckily, I was filming it, but Kevin's supposed to be filming these things vertically oh, for I me. Was, and then everybody just drove through it. And no. he's not doing his <laughs> job! <laughs> the only one I didn't do. Right, outlaws. We're bringing Adam Actually, through this obstacle. We enough. don't know if he's wide enough for no. this. No, he won't be able to put a tire up there. He's gonna. Ha mm. Yeah, you're not gonna be wide enough. So the thing is, Adam's gladiator, despite it having a Hellcat, it, right it is also his daily driver. Just hold it right there. Keep it right there. We're gonna see when you get down in here. Keep a little pressure, driver, right there. Keep a little pressure, driver. Not too much. Not too much. Slow, yep, slow, perfect. slow. Nice yep. and slow. Keep pressure on that side, just barely. Don't turn into it, just keep it kind of pressed against the wall. No, no, too much, too much, too much.
like the perfect time to remind you guys or to tell you if you haven't been following along that the main reason we're here in Dubai is for these. These are the light bright outlaw wheels by Baja built race wheels. These are the reasons we've come to Dubai because our partners are based here. Now these wheels in particular are forged, which means they're lighter and stronger than your regular cast wheels. Although we are coming out with the cast option, the forged are now available at Northridge4x4.com. These things are sick and Kevin and I have spent years working with Baja built to try to create the perfect wheel with all of the features we've always loved. So these things come with dual valve sims so that you can air up your tire, air down your tire, and check the pressure all simultaneously. They also have inner and outer knurling to protect not just your outer bead, but your inner bead as well. The beadlock rings are also equipped with drain holes to prevent water buildup, and especially if you live in cold climates, to prevent freezing. They're already pre-coated to protect that polished finish from oxidizing over time. So we've always had that issue on a lot of our wheels, and it's been something that's very frustrating for us. These things can also be mounted as either a beadlock or a DOT style wheel. So you can actually mount it like a DOT with a beauty ring, or you can mount it as a beadlock. So it has different technology built into it. Now these, again, they're already available at northridge4x4.com. We also listened to you guys. We lowered the price for them, but again, they're forged. They're more expensive, but they are lighter and extremely strong. In addition to that though, we will have cast coming soon, as well as not just other colors, but also other styles. Like these Renegades right here, which have already been released here in Dubai and are coming soon to the US as well, along with other color options and style options. Okay, start turn, turn right, turn right, turn, turn right. No, you're turning left. Hold on. <laughs> right there. Perfect. Nice and slow. Hold on. No, you're good. Okay. Out, 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 out. out. Perfect. Just a little bacony. All right. Somebody looking.
So this rig's also got narrower axles and a smaller tire size. So. This is the final obstacle out over here, but it is full of water, not just right here, but at this waterfall at the end. Because, you know, this is very deep on one side. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's crazy. Usually it twist and smash here. All the gladiators, All the gladiators they hit lost right. their daylight here on this one, <laughs> and they were banded here. That is a deep hole. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Drive the final boss. <laughs> <laughs> the final boss. <laughs> you choose. Ah. Oh. Can you, you see? Oh, that shit got real. Huh? Can you see over? <laughs> yeah. That's Clutch a, all the way down. Holy crap. Yeah. That's why. That's why. That's why, that's why your leg. Oh my god. Guns of steel. It just. It is like. My yeah. my legs already shaking yeah. trying to push I'm on it. <laughs> I think I think these need a bit tightening if you want. And then you get to yeah, go. Yeah, I gotta be able to look and see. I'm alright. Oh. I don't think I'm going lock, anywhere. Your locker, the front locker is, the rear is uh, Overson. So okay. it's a Detroit, so already, if you will. It's already going. And the front is there. Okay. And, and then the key, the key is right here. Oh, yeah. No, I'm joking. millimeter before it just goes. Telling him to use the suck down winch, and Kevin doesn't know where it is. It's from the outside. That's why he he's like, I don't know where it is. He goes, oh, I didn't do it from the outside. Essentially because of the angle, uh, the fuel's not picking up. Essentially like being out of fuel on the top of the obstacle. So I think we're gonna have to winch the buggy up at this point. So as you can see, I'm in a Land Rover. Um, I think this out does Chris's Rover maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I don't know how much of it is. Uh, 
uh, our, our mechanic. Oh. So, like, I think it's Land Rover from right behind my back to right where my feet are at. Other yeah. than that, is that about right? Yeah. Well, on the hood, maybe? I don't hood, know. Hood and cabin. The hood and cabin. And the <laughs> feet, of, the feet of chassis. What, what year? 83. Hey, that's what I'm for. And this thing's 40 and a half years old. <laughs> so even all the way out here in Dubai, they've got a, a Factor 55 rope retention pulley. So we're going to use this essentially as a snatch block. And I believe the plan is to use the gladiator's winch up here, pulley back to the buggy, just to hopefully relieve tension because for some reason the uh, buggy's winch is not releasing, which is a problem. So we've got a gladiator winch to a gladiator as a daisy chain just to hold him down. His winch is going across to the tree. We've got a pulley to the front of the buggy. There we go. We're just trying to slacken the actual buggy line here. All right, quick change of plans. So they had the winch line along the outside of the tire, um, but as it's pulling, it was cutting in the tire really bad. So we released it and they've gone on the inside underneath the axles, hopefully, so it doesn't get caught up with anything. Okay, so at this point, he's actually got a winch on the back of the buggy, so he's got the rear winch. Now, we've released it, run it underneath the buggy, and we're running that to the tree as well. <laughs> it's going slowly but surely. We're out of battery, damn it. You're We're almost there though, Kev. Yes. Come on, baby. Watch that orange yeah, winch line. Orange, orange people dropping up. Right, wait, 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 wait. I say the orange winch line. Like Assad was saying at the beginning, before we started this obstacle, the regular rigs struggle, especially gladiators. This thing kills gladiators. So uh, generally to get out of this, the gladiators and some of the wranglers do have to winch, which is what we're gonna do. Come on, come on, come on. 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 Come on, come on
meant sway bar and link, not tie rod. I was still thinking about the broken tie rod ends from one earlier, one. but his sway bar essentially inverted and the uh, sway bar end links uh, one thing, one thing. basically, move, yeah, they taco. So those are done skis. Okay. Up, 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 yeah, yeah, good, good. Engine, engine, engine. Passenger, passenger. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Beautiful, beautiful. Well done. Yep. Yep, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up. Well done, well done. Yeah, the gas. All you, all you. All you. All you. One more car. is officially the end of the trail but before we close out the rest of this video we figured we'd take a second to go over some of the rigs not that you just saw in today's video but that you saw in the last video as well all right so what is your name and tell us about this craziness here <laughs> this all right thing. my name is Nadim Samara uh, thanks for having me on board um, this is a 1983 Land Rover Defender high capacity pickup so basically the bed and the cabin are separated, which is perfect. Stock cabin and <laughs> uh, and the, beauty, the beauty th beautiful thing about this is that you can have the cabin completely separate. We kept three feet of the original chassis, which is a pretty sturdy chassis. And then everything else has been custom uh, built basically by me and my friends in some, some garages back home in Lebanon and then shipped to Dubai. And this is uh, not normal for around here. No, no, this is, this is basically, this was, this was supposed to be a fully functioning snow rig, rock rig, uh, street rig, everything. So, uh, it has some blinkers and some other things, but right here it's just a rock roller. Uh, it has rock wells, front and rear two and a halfs, with aluminum hubs for some uh, weight reduction for the hubs. Uh, <laughs> pinion, pinion brakes, uh, Overson uh, axle shafts, 47 spline, two inches, chrome mollies, front and rear. Uh, front ARB with inner 16s, 1.62s, uh, 672s in terms of uh, pumpkins. A Hero 3-speed transfer case with 544s in the low range, and an NV4500 modified um, with a 634 first speed, so it has around 200 some crawl ratio. Because of the weight and everything that it has, we have double ORI 16s um, on each corner uh, with uh, reservoirs. The engine is an LQ4 that's been prepped uh, and coded with Z06 um, heads, so it's pretty uh, pretty performant. It's a manual only as a fact that you have a clutch, but you put it in gear and then you just you let it yeah. you just let it go and it just does its thing unless semi -manual. it runs out. Of, unless it's semi automatic. Yeah. Semi manual. Unless it runs out of gas and then it doesn't do its thing anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. That's what happened to us, so I apologize for that. But it has uh, Stazwork 17 inches by nine double bead locks and a Stazwork steering, uh, double uh, Odyssey batteries. It has a Scotts pump caterpillar pump for the steering, which is amazing, and has a CBR radiator and has a Griffin, uh, massive Griffin oil cooler for the steering. So it has, a, it has it's just a lot. Yeah, all good it's stuff. It's just a lot. And for comfort, you have PRP and Crow for, uh, for safety. Sick. This thing is awesome. So basically, it's just a slightly modified Land Rover. <laughs> <laughs> slightly modified. We forgot the winches. One let us down today, but three winches, Warns, M8274 that are modified. The front one needs a bit more modification, apparently. <laughs> That's about it. That's good. I'm Amin, known as Jeep Your Life. This is my Sand Runner Gladiator 2021, has been modified fully, 6.4 V8 and can coilovers. Yeah, my name is uh, Pete Kreivels. Uh, this is my Jeep. It's a uh, Wrangler JL 2021. I have uh, four coilover uh, suspensions, a Dynatrack uh, front axle with I got air lockers, long arm setup. Yeah, love the Jeep. Also the best top. Uh, usually I use it for the desert. It's uh, so your center of gravity is a little bit lower, so. That's the reason I have very light uh, doors, very light top. So. What type of engine is it? 
Uh, a 3.6 uh, just a little bit, little bit tickled, so uh, <laughs> it's a little bit stronger, but uh, yeah, just a six cylinder. Awesome. Yeah. Hi, my name's Andrew, and this is my Toyota Land Cruiser Troopy. So here she is in all her glory. So we have a snorkel for going through water. We have a storage box on the side. We have a quick pitch drop down shower. The shower outlet here. Let's go around the back. This is my storage bag here. We have a jerry can of water. There's my Instagram. If you want to follow me for uh, Instagram content in Dubai, we open her up and this is the bedroom, the master suite. So we have storage panel, molly panels here on the side. I've got my gas for my burner, additional water storage. This all comes out, my bed goes inside. Work our way around here. We have additional storage, a nice drop down table and then my shadow awning. So this thing didn't come wheeling with us, unfortunately. Uh, I don't blame him though, because I don't know if it would have made it through some of the stuff, at least today. But this is probably one of the sickest vehicles we've seen so far, just because it's something we never see in the US. You call it a troopy? Troopy, absolutely, yeah. So they're quite rare even here, because they're normally used for military. Uh, but I managed to get one registered as a civilian. But uh, yeah, definitely unique. Hi, my name is Adam, and this is my 2021 Gladiator. Uh, let's start with the engine. Uh, we've got America's Most Wanted Hellcat and because it's my daily driver we did put a bit of a special box around the air filter to make it a little bit more silent. I know I love the Hellcat wine but as a daily driver it's something to be considered. The uh, suspension as you can see it's a 12 inch uh, coilover in front we've got a double throw down and a coilover the same uh, at the back. It's a daily driver but it's more than that it's actually a four in one. I did something that everybody and all my friends here were telling me it can't be done okay <laughs> which is basically a daily driver a rock crawling monster, a desert bashing Baja racer, and actually a comfortable vehicle. So there's a lot of things you don't see making it comfortable. But let me show you the overlanding part of the of those of those four vehicles. So in here we've got a smart cap where I've got access to all my recovery gear and, and things like that. On top we've got actually three tables which can easily be pulled up uh, and set up around around the vehicle. If we move over here, I mean besides the treasure room. Let's go into something a little bit, a little bit funkier. I'm sure you all know the deck storage system. Pretty convenient, pretty cool. But this is a cool part. So, regular fridge sliders, not very unique. But even I'm not tall enough to reach over there. So here, as you can see, it actually goes down and it allows uh, easier access uh, towards that as well. So, this is it. This is me, this is my baby. Don't forget to subscribe and like Light Bright. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it, the, at least for today. Guys, this is literally not even 48 hours. Into two weeks. Into a two week trip here in Dubai. And there won't even really be a day that we're not. I think we have like two days that we have as like relaxed days out of 14 days. Not even, I don't think. Oh, we have something planned every single day and every single day should be just as rad and as rowdy as the last two have been. Again, hit the like and subscribe and share button. This is going to be so much fun for you guys to follow along and we're excited to show you what our adventures are going to be like here in Dubai. Dubai, Abu Dhabi. We're going everywhere. We're doing a ton of things and we get to share the entire experience with you guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Remember you find all your Lightbright Nation merch and decals at lightbrightstudios.com. As always, guys, we love you and we'll, we'll see, see you, you next time. time. Bye. Adam, what did you do? I left my phone and the key to the car in the tent. <laughs> and the smart way to check whether it was here for sure was to bring the, was tent, to bring the tent in into the, car the front and the car seat. started. <laughs> his key and his phone. He packed yeah. away in his tent. So we gotta we gotta retrieve the So he realized that his phone was in the tent. He's got him back all the thing. He did realize his phone was in the tent. He's like, oh, dang it. He goes, well, when we get to an obstacle, we'll stop. And then he hopped in, went to start it, and wouldn't start. And he's like, oh. All right, I got it. Success. <laughs> Success. <laughs> and that's it. You feel good? That burp? All right. <laughs>